<laughs> Bit of an insane setup, but I'm trying to discharge this um, e-bike battery, homemade e-bike battery, uh, to get it off of um, maximum charge. Because I then uh, decided not to go on the bike because it was raining too hard and went uh, another route. So the battery was fully charged. I need to discharge it. My um, my IMAX. Um, Although it says uh, 2 amps discharge current, it also says, that's maximum, it also says 15 watts maximum discharge, which means that um, 30 odd volts, um, you don't really get uh, more than about 300 milliamps from it. So, this is what I'm working with now. Uh, I've got a piece of wood wound with nichrome wire which you may recognize from previous video um, and that forms a broadly 30 ohm resistor some a little bit less um, i've tucked a little temperature sensing probe in the last turn of the nichrome wire to measure its temperature and that's being displayed on this cheap um, i think it was 150 digital thermometer and then i I'm driving a, this is a cardboard tube, OBS, which is keeping it cool, driven by a PC fan, there's a vent in the side, um, and the fan has been driven by this power supply, so I can change the voltage and therefore the speed of the fan, uh, basically do whatever it takes to keep this temperature in check, that's now at 15 volts, which is overrating the fan, so I'll um, Yeah, so that will keep things around 28 degrees. Um, I'm measuring the current by tapping across this big 1 ohm power resistor at the top here. So 1 ohm means that 1 volt means um, 1 amp. So this is on a voltage range, reading 1.5 volts, therefore 1.5 amps. And this is reading the voltage across the whole battery pack, which is 27.5 volts. Now it's a potentially lethal lash up. If something falls off and touches the wrong thing, then it's a sure. It's not lethal, but it will blow the fuses, uh, one or both of the fuses in the um, in the battery, and something might get rather hotter than I had hoped. Um, I suppose there are professional dump loads, um, but I'm thinking of making an Arduino thing, which uh, is. You know, it drives the speed of the fan based on the temperature it reads. It also logs um, perhaps temperature, uh, sorry, it logs voltage and current on a very frequent basis and therefore can work out power. And so battery capacity and it would have the cutoffs um, for maximum current and specified current and cut out voltage so as not to damage the batteries and so on. I suppose there must be a device that does that on the market I'll research when I finish this video but um, I'm thinking I might build one and perhaps make it commercially available if um, if I can make it available at a price that meets demand anyway an interesting somewhat trepidatious experiment <laughs>